All right, hello everybody. Crypto Vin's back. I'm here to do another uh, how to GPU miner review uh, on this Kiva Coin project. I'm feeling a little bit motivated, and I want to put this video out there. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, like, and share. I appreciate all of my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to enter my $25 Bitcoin giveaway, and the details of that can be found in the description part of that video. Please feel free to leave a comment, a question. Uh, if you have a project you want me to look into to GPU mine, please let me know. So I'm on Kiva Coin's website here, kivacoin.org. I'll leave that link in the description of the video. It's a powerful blockchain data store, easy and fun, cryptocurrency and key value data store on a public blockchain for developers and everyone else. So they have a how it works link here. Um, if you're a developer, that's the link that you want to click. Um, just doing a quick overview, so I'm not going to get into that right now. I'll come back to the learn more link in a second. Uh, why Kiva Coin? Powerful and simple blockchain data store. Develop straight uh, of the art dApps or post something memorable. It is for developers and everyone else. Using CPU and GPU friendly Kryptonite R hash algorithm it is good for decentralization and your electric bill. Easy wallet integration developed on Bitcoin data uh, code base. It is easy to integrate wallet support on popular wallet apps. For developers, on-chain data, off-chain application logic. It is never so easy to develop a dApp. Use your favorite programming language. Easy to deploy, easy to update. The data stays on blockchain, truly decentralized. The glue of the decentralized web. Need a single source of truth to coordinate a federation of social network instances? Prefer a public identity without registration everywhere? Use Kiva Coin blockchain key value data store. It is not owned by any big companies. For everyone else, mine it, spend it, share it. You don't need any expensive equipments. Just use your computer to mine the coins. If you have some, spend it. If you have more, share it. Post something memorable. Birthday wishes, wishes new baby announcement, milestones in life. Post a message on blockchain. It is invaluable and meant to last. It is so easy to do with Kiva Coin. Here's the protocol. The symbol is KVA. Total supply is 1 billion, 50 million. No pre mine, no developer fee. The algorithm Kryptonite R. Block reward 500, halved every four years. Block time two minutes. Difficulty adjustment is DigiShield. It adjusts every block. Segwit activated. Block weight 6 million weighted units. Maximal key size 255 bytes. Maximum number of keys, no hard limit. Maximum value size is 372 bytes. Here's where you can contribute. Click on this link. Here's the wallets. I use Windows 64. I'm sorry, yes, Windows 64, Windows 10, 64-bit rather. Choose the appropriate wallet for you. And down here are the social media links. And the link to the Block Explorer. All right, let's go back up, learn more. Now, this brings you to the Frequently Asked Questions section. I'm going to do a brief discussion about the Frequently Asked Questions section. It's kind of lengthy. What is Kiva Coin? Kiva is an abbreviated uh, abbreviation for key value, pronounced Kiva. And the short symbol is KVA. It is a key value built, store built on blockchain on the code base of Bitcoin and Litecoin. Besides being a cryptocurrency, it allows users to easily and securely add updated or delete, delete key value pairs on the blockchain. Kiva Coin is influenced by Namecoin, with the key value part of the code heavily modified from Namecoin's name registration code. What is the difference between Kiva Coin from Namecoin? Even though Kiva Coin is influenced by Namecoin, it works very differently and serves very different purpose than the latter. Kiva Coin is a key value store, with, while Namecoin is a name registration system. Kiva Coin has no hard limit uh, on the number of keys, and the maximum length of value is 3,072 byte. Namecoin has 520 byte limit for each namespace. Kiva Coin's namespace ID uniquely generated by the network to avoid conflicts. Namecoin's namespace is chosen by user and has to be unique across the network. The key, with Kiva Coin, you need not worry about namespace squatting. Kiva Coin's key value pairs do not expire. 
How much does it cost to use Kiva Coins data store? Before adding a key value pair, one needs to create a namespace to hold the pairs. The system reserves 0.01 Kiva for the creation of the namespace, and the amount cannot be spent. One can add key value to the namespace with a transaction fee determined by the miners. Kiva Coin is a public blockchain and anyone can write to it. The network is vulnerable to spamming abuse without a transaction fee. In addition, transactions are validated by miners and they need to be compensated for their works. So this talks basically about what their ecosystem is. Where can I get Kiva Coin? The easiest way is through mining. It uses the Kryptonite R hashing algorithm, as we said, and you can use XM Rig or XM Stack uh, as the mining software. Maximum supply is uh, 1 billion, 50 million, 500 Kiva per, per block. This talks about the, the maximum block sizes. I'll let you take a look at that when you get a chance. Like I said, I'm trying to make this a quick overview of the video, of the project rather, for this video. Do you pre-mine the coins? No, there's no pre-mine. How long does it take to confirm a key value update? Block time is about two minutes. What is namespace and why do we need one? Each namespace is a unique space for you to add, uh, for you to safely add or update key value pairs without any potential conflicts with users. If you're interested in a namespace, you can read more about that there. Does Kiva Coin support smart contracts? And you can read more about that. Kiva Coin is a decentralized data store and it leaves implementation of application logic off the blockchain. So you can read more about that when you get a chance if you're interested in smart contract part of the project. What is the maximum key and value size? The maximum key size is 255 bytes and the value is 3072 bytes. Why Kryptonite R is chosen in the proof of work algorithm. Here are the reasons. Generates less heat on GPUs. It is CPU and GPU friendly and it's more ASIC resistance resistant, so it's more fair to individual miners. What is the difficulty adjustment algorithm? As we said, it uses DigiShield difficulty adjustment algorithm, the same one used by Dogecoin. What are the threats posed by 51% attack? You can read about that when you get a chance. Uh, is my data visible to the public? It, yes, it is, as this is the nature of Bitcoin style blockchain. One can encrypt the values or only store the hashes of the values to protect the confidentiality of the values. How can, how can you contribute to the development? You can, do, you can read about that here if you're interested in doing that. Okay, so that's going to be about it for the website. Uh, here's the Bitcoin talk. It has the links, website, frequently asked questions, Twitter, Discord, and their mining pool, which is kivapool.com. And it basically goes over again, repeated what the website has said. Okay, so let's go to the mining pool and I'm on kivapool.com. I'll leave that link in the description of the video. You're going to want stratum.kivapool.com as the mining pool address. Here are the ports you can use. Uh, if you don't put a port in, it defaults to the, this port 3333. Okay, uh, let's go to simple mining. As you can see, I'm mining Kiva coin right now. Let's go to uh, group config. You can see here I'm mining it, and here is the command line. I'll go over it real quick. So dash A is the algorithm you're going to want to mine on. You're going to use for the miner, uh, which I'm using XM Rig dash NVIDIA, like it said on the website. Dash O, after that, you're putting the mining pool address. And as you can see, I left out the port, but it has defaulted to 3333. So you're going to put colon and the port if you want to add that in there. Here's my address, which I put after dash U. You're going to put your address in there. Password dash P is just X. So you're going to put add a group. Oops. Let's go over that again. Add a group. You're going to scroll down to XM Rig NVIDIA. And as you can see, it has CN-R. So that is Kryptonite R. 
So we, want, we know that is the correct minor to use. I'm going to go to use Cooter 9.1. Feel free to use what's best for you. Here's the example mining a uh, command line. You're going to obviously cut that out, put the one I'm going to have in the description of this video in. Obviously, again, make sure you do your own address. Group name, I usually do the uh, name of the project, group description. I usually do the pool and the miner I'm using, which is XM Rig. Dash NVIDIA 9.1 in this case. Let's go back to rig list. I can show you that the command line is successfully working. Here, you can see I'm getting jobs and shares. And I am noticing that my, my, my GPUs are running a little bit cooler. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, um, if you have anything you want to add about this project, please feel free to do so in the comment section. Again, don't forget to enter my $25 Bitcoin giveaway. Please subscribe, like, and share. I appreciate it. I hope this helps. I hope this gets you uh, up and running quickly if you're interested in this project. If you are, please let me know why. Uh, have you heard of the project? Are you mining it? Are you thinking about mining it? Let me know in the comment section. I would be curious about that. So until next time.